Welcome, everybody, to this episode of the Battle of the Games In here battle. with uh, the Board and Scale <laughs> podcast crew members. As always, you have me, Sebastian, and all these other people. Who's, who's this person? Weirdos. All right, let's do this again. We've already done the Kenzie isn't here enough bit, so we're going to move on. Uh, and Dwayne today really likes it. We played Dune Imperium, not today. Some other day we play Dune Imperium, and today we are here to talk about and uh, give our review for it. So, Kev, you want to go ahead and... Yeah, so Dune Imperium is my uh, number four. Um, it is a, a worker placement deck building game, uh, primarily. Uh, you're playing as one of the uh, the characters in, in from the Dune saga and uh, trying to gain control. What is uh, Dune? What is Dune? Dune is a planet. It's the Fremen name for the What's planet called Fremen? Arrakis. Fremen are the native <laughs> people of Dune. So I do remember. I, when I, we I mean, I, I, guess I, I explained the mechanism. Hold on, I got. I guess I got to okay. actually explain how the game is played. So yeah, there you go. Uh, so on your turn, you can either take um, a uh, an agent action, where that's the worker placement portion of the game. Um, the board is broken up into some generic areas um, that are color coded. Um, in order to move your agent to one of those areas, you have to have a card in your hand that corresponds to that particular area on the board. Um, and then there are also faction ones, the Fremen, the Bene Gesserit, uh, the Emperor, and the Spacing Guild. Um, so you have to get special symbols to go there, uh, increase your influence from those tracks. Um, so you usually get between two and three actions, uh, agent actions per turn if you want to take them all. Um, you have the cards to play them. Uh, it is a game where it is competitive spacing. So if somebody takes, um, you know, Haga Basin spot, no one else can go there um, unless they have some kind of special ability that allows them to do that. Um, once you're done taking your agent turns, you know, everyone takes their agent turns in order. Um, you do a reveal turn. So the same cards that are in your hand uh, have different, you know, spots on the bottom for your agent actions. I'm sorry, your, uh, your reveal actions. So that's where you get your your economy, and a little bit of your combat. And that's where you're able to buy new cards to put into your deck. Um, so that's where the deck builder aspect comes. You start with your base deck, and then you're, you're adding new, more powerful cards to it. Um, you do cycle through them pretty quick. Um, you are using most of your cards every turn. So um, it is a, like I say, like it's, it's actually a pretty good, as far as deck building, you're not adding maybe as many cards as a game like Star Realms or Dominion. But you're adding a decent or clank or clank, yeah, yeah, but not as low as like uh, ruins of Arnak, where you maybe get like two or three cards back into your deck. Like you're putting a decent amount in, and those choices make a huge, huge difference um, because when you are able to play them, it's pretty, pretty powerful. Um, and then the last probably like noteworthy mechanism in the game is the, is the combat piece. And every at the end of every round, there's combat, and you're fighting over different um, rewards each time. Um, and it's one of the primary mechanisms for getting points in the game. Um, so combat, much like in, in Dune and the world and the universe, is very combat's very important. So is that sufficient? Is that a good explanation? No, that's good. You did good, Kev. Good job. Thanks. That's pretty good. All right. Let's good go boy. to the other side of the of the court. Sorry we had to do that whole thing, Dwayne. I know you had like a, you were all ready. Go ahead, Dwayne. I like the game a lot. Um, <laughs> great opinion. We're, we're oh, all right, on. all right, Ken's. What do you think? <laughs> no, go ahead. I've played it all of three times ever, twice just base game, and then the second time I played this, it was with everything. I believe. Um, I liked it both times. I think I would rather play it just the base game. Interesting. I don't think I would. I I, I personally I don't care. I'll play it with it with expansions, but. In my opinion, I would play it just uh, the base stuff. I like the combat. Um, that's like the one thing I really, really like about it. Because I feel like it can be kind of a turning point. Like if you're down there in the dumps and you can do really good in combat, you can catch up. Um, but yeah. So what's your rating? Eight. <laughs> May as well throw it in Dwayne's five. trash can. He hates this game. 8.5. From what? Dwayne? It's actually really good. It's really good for Dwayne. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Thanks, Dwayne. 
All right, eight point five for Dune Imperium. Let's go, babe. Me? Okay. I also really enjoyed this game. Um, I think I've only played it twice. Maybe no, three times. We've played it. We've played it at least three times. With like that was that could have been the third, if not four. Yeah, I haven't played it a ton. Um, but I really like it. Um, deck building is one of my favorite mechanics, so that just fits in really well. Um, the biggest thing that I like about this game is no one part of it is an end all be all. So you can't just focus on one part of it and win the game. Um, you have to do a little bit of everything to kind of get there. Um, but if you ignore one part of it, that could be extremely detrimental. So, um, I did end up winning. So in the beginning, I was the only one that was doing combat. Granted, I had a combat focused, um, what are they called? Great house faction. Whatever. Your player, your mm. your persona. Yeah. So that's another thing about this game is you get asymmetric powers. Um. What was that? Persona. You went persona. Okay. Anyway, you get asymmetric powers. <laughs> she thought it was our children. I did. I thought that was my kids. I thought they were awake. At anyway. Midnight. Anyway, it's midnight, by the way. You get asymmetric powers in this game, and mine was combat focused. So I did a lot of combat in the beginning, which got me a lot of extra points, and nobody really fought me. Yeah, which helped me a lot. Yeah, I feel like in the beginning, maybe the first couple rounds, no one really fought you, but then they tried really hard to fight you, and it never worked. Well, I had already built up to where I was doing really well, and yeah. I I was established. Yeah. By the she time was, people were fighting me. She was two or three points ahead. <clears throat> I mean, it's only 10 points, so it's a pretty... Nine a, in a four-player game. Nine, you're right, because you do start on a you start, you start on the first point. <clears throat> um, but, you know, so most combat has at least one victory point, and towards the end you get the two. Uh, the alternative, like the only other way to get points consistently is through the influence, and there's there's four factions... Each one of them can grant a total of two points total, one that can be taken away potentially. So, you know, um, you, like you're pointing out, like clearly that means you can't just do one or the other. You have to, you have to kind of balance back and forth between them. Yeah. So I do like that about this game. I like that you can't really just do one thing and be good. You kind of have to focus on a little bit of everything. But if you ignore one thing, then you might get not. Do as well as you could. So I would give this probably an eight. Probably an eight for me. Eight and a half on a good day when I'm doing good. <laughs> when you're winning. When she wins the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that leaves it up to me to ruin it. Just oh, kidding. my mm -hmm. goodness. No, Dune Imperium is a game that uh, I was interested in. It is a game. A good long job. time ago. Be Mostly because there was like four different Dune games out and I just was interested in like the different art. And I was like, whoa, why is there all these Dune games? For I didn't even know what Dune was, to be honest. But then I, I looked it up. I was like, oh, which Dune should I get? Everyone was suggesting Dune Imperium. So I was like, okay, we'll get, well, I'll just take the leap, get that one. That's right. also another thing I'll say. I didn't give a shit about Dune mm. until I played this and I was like, this this is pretty sick. Honestly, granted, much same. Still haven't seen the movies, <laughs> but it interested me. They're so but good. I would watch them now. I so would. Good. I would watch them. I am interested. Come over this game Thursday has gotten me, gotten me into Dune. It has gotten me. Um, it's gotten me into Dune. Sorry to cut you off. Continue. That's okay. Um, anyways, um, I really like. I was really trying not to say um because too late. Anyways, next. I really like this game because I like worker placement in general, like 99% of other board gamers. But specifically, I like that you have a choice between do I want to put a worker down this turn or take a reveal action, maybe sacrifice a worker to have extra buying power or be able to jump ahead in the combat spaces. And there's something that scratches kind of the like territory control itch in this game for me because of the combat and the fact that, like Kev said, the spaces are limited for your workers. It just weirdly scratches that itch for me while still being a worker placement deck building game that are just classic mechanics that I really enjoy. 
obviously like the theme now and the fact that I've seen the movies just kind of adds on to it. And I would give it probably an 8. Because I really like this game. And honestly, if I knew that you were going to rate it an 8, I would have been suggesting this game to like to play a lot more. We did have the cool the cool factor of it for this ver- this last play because Kevin has the upgraded version with the minis and he painted them. So not only do we have minis to play with, but we had very cool looking minis to play with. So yeah, I'd give it an eight. That's my Dune Imperium rating. Okay. Yeah. Um, obviously it's one of my top, you know, it's my number four um, for a lot of the same reasons. Deck building is a, is a, is a favorite worker placements, a favorite. Um, I think it's interesting that you mentioned the, the area control thing. Um, for me, that shows up more in the influence tracks with the different guilds. Sure. Because you're competing for that influence, which feels kind of like, do I have more influence than you? It feels yeah. kind of like that same thing, um, <clears throat> which, of course, can be a big deal because you can gain influence, lose it, potentially be able to have somebody take your point from you if they if they overrun you on the track. So very similar in that same regard. Um, same with combat, like loading up, because it's all into that central combat area. One territory to yep, control. That you're just fighting over whatever it is. Um, so there's a bit of that. Uh, for me, this is a 9, nine 9.5. There's just really not a lot of things I have to critique it. Now, I haven't played and it this enough. This is number four. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's always weird. Like, you've got like hundreds of games that you own and you've played and like, Maybe the top five should all be in, like, the highest ratings you possibly have. It's a weird concept, I know. Right. Right? Hmm. Like, man, if you own 400 games and your top five aren't scraping nines. (laughs) (laughs) Like, wow. That's crazy. (laughs) Uh, Yes, also. Kev. Yeah. uh, Big fan of the, the, I've read the books, the six Frank Herbert books. uh, Nothing that his, his. Awful progeny have ever produced. They're apparently really, 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 really bad. I did not know that because I can't read, so I never read the books. There's also like 30 of them, or something like that. There's like a whole bunch of Dune stuff that they they just kind of like continue to crank out. Yeah. So having having you know read the books and then of course watched the movies and some even some of the older movies and whatnot, like the universe of course resonates. The theme comes through quite strong. The spice, um, yeah, and and in thematically everything I think is done really really well. I think it matches the universe really really well. So really really well, really really really, really <laughs> well. It's late. Leave me alone. It's uh, will we yeah. wait? It's will we wait? Some of us are old. <laughs> I need to one go of to us. Bed. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> one of us more than the rest. As long as you know. Yeah. As long as you know. Oh, yeah. It's all right. Aries is telling you it's time to go. Yeah, he's telling you. Aries is to go. done. Our it is time to go. Grown in. All right, so that's my number four, nine nine point five. I would. That's good. I'm, yeah. It, the good irony pick. is, is that I actually haven't played Ix or Immortality yet. And then I also picked up Uprising. So we have Uprising. We have no. We have Immortality. Uprising, Uprising is, is the, the new standalone, standalone one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We have Immortality. Okay. Also haven't played it. It just. Yeah. This game is enough. We. We've also only played it a few times, so it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm kind of sick of this now. Mm. It has a, for me at least, it never is long enough on the table, but I'm also like, that it was time to end, but I always like, oh, one more turn. <laughs> one more turn would have been good. Yeah. The um, the other thing is, is I think the community is like, the people who like the Dune games, the Imperium games, very divided. One, like how to best play it. Some people... I've actually never, Dwayne. I think you're the first person I think is just wants to play just the base game. When you're playing the base Imperium, it's a huge split between who likes to add X or Immortality, or do they think they need to put both in? Um, and then now the new crowd is: should you play Imperium with one of those, or just Uprising. play Uprising? Or do you want to play? Because Uprising, you can play X and Immortality with Uprising as well. So there's a lot of a lot of debate out there. Maybe which we trade this in for uprising. No, not, no. Not I'll version. just play. You can just play my copy and decide for yourself. Stop. I have all of it. So. Right. 
<laughs> anyway. On that note. All right. Break well, in. thank you guys for watching. Can't I hope wait you to stuck around it goes after that first ratings. five minutes of weirdness. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next Battle of the Games. Bye. Bye, guys.